Okay, people, we got a 2013 Chevy Traverse. The tr truck needs a thermostat. So, it's a little tricky to get to it, but I found out where it's at. You know, I'm gonna make sure I get y'all together with the best videos possible. It's right there. So we gotta take this off, get down here because that's the, that's it right there. Right here. It's right here. That's the thermostat. It's right there. So we're gonna get to it, get it out. Okay, so we're going to get this off. Breathing. Flathead screwdriver. So you can get you some eyesight. You can see what's happening. Down here. I'm good for discouraging you. They're good for that. I love me a shabby life, but boy. Okay. Get that out of there. Okay, now see it's under this cover so i don't know who came up with this idea to put this cover but it looked like it's a 10 millimeter so we're gonna get a 10 and get that out okay so you know got my thing i love the most need a long extension get to that screw I don't even know why they would put this stupid cover down here. That's why they did it. They just trying to discourage you, man. <laughs> yeah, they. I believe that. Okay. Done. That cover is pointless. Okay. Here is the thermostat, people. Take the light out so y'all can get a bit here. Those look to be 10 millimeter screws as well. It's a hand job, look like. So we're gonna go ahead and get that out of here. Okay. That's the thermostat right there. See where I'm at? 10 millimeter. It's a hand job. Okay, so you take these out. Now, you got this third one. You got the third one down here. That third bolt, see? Right there. It's the third bolt. See that third bolt down there? Because it's three bolts in it, but that third bolt at the bottom you can't you're going to need a 
trying to say a ratchet wrench 10 millimeter to get that third bolt off the bottom and that's how we're gonna get it out of there huh okay see that's all you need it's a 10 get that bottom one out see like so they not on tight, so that's a good thing. So, we gonna get them loose. Finish pulling them out. So actually, you can turn these by hand. See? See, I got him out. I'm gonna go to the hardest, which is that bottom. So, so you see the concept, just get these out. You see the concept, so just get them out and then we can, uh, we can get the thermostat out. Okay, people, so, boy, this here, I don't know if you can see it, but this pipe that runs to the thermostat, that long pipe, hold on, let me try to get y'all some light, I don't want the glare in the camera, but, here, this pipe here, they got a bolt behind there. Just so you know, it's a bolt back here. It's a bolt on this pipe. It's a bolt right here. You gotta get it, I think it's a 13 millimeter so that you can get this to come off. So let's get that out and get done. Maybe we can snake you gotta get that boat out. Can't snake it. So let's get that boat out of there. Okay, people. So that boat that's hidden back there, like I said, it's a 15 millimeter. You know, I recommend these Milwaukee sockets with that square end, give you some room, kind of shallow head a little bit. So it's a 15. Okay, take that back, people. You know, on this channel, I'm gonna always give you accurate information so you can get the job done in a timely manner with all, all that mess. This is the, you need a deep 15. This is also Milwaukee socket, but you need a deep so you can get that ball in and get it out. The short won't work. Get a, put this deep 15 on there. You can get that, you can get that boat out down there. Okay, the boat is out. That's it. So now, you can go ahead, get the thermostat out. Well, see? Yep, go ahead and get the thermostat out. Call it a day, kind of snake it out so you don't have to break loose all this unnecessary stuff, but that's it, it's out. Put your new gasket in, remove that thermostat. Okay, see how I got it turned. See how I got it turned. Got him out of there. Now I can pull the new one out and uh, we can get it done. Where's that new one at? Okay, got it out. This one was sticking, as you can see. So I jammed up in there. 
but I got it out. Got the new one. You just go on and slip it in to install it, put the new gasket on, call it a day. All right, let's get this knocked out, call it a day. Okay. You're going to have to see how I got it in, get it in. And then you got to press down to get it into these slots. See the slots? Get it into these slots. You got to press this down. And then get it into them grooves on both sides. That's all you got to do. Okay, people. It's a trick to this bad boy. I'm trying to get this in. So you need to get your screwdriver. And press down. You're going to have to hold it. With one hand. You're gonna have to get you to put your screwdriver on both sides. Put your screwdriver. Put your screwdriver on both sides. Put your screwdriver here. See? See how it compress? And then you can twist it to get it on that lip. That's all you gotta do. Okay, people, so we ain't gonna work that hard. We're gonna just go on and do this the quick way. Take these fittings off, them some snap fittings like that this hose this hose and then take that radiator clamp off then we can take this out we can sit it on the bench and we can mount that thermostat in so that's be the easiest that'll be the easiest fastest most efficient way so take all this off here and we're gonna get it in there Okay, people, as you can see, I got it out the car, got it on the bench. Right here. This broke, probably nine times 10, this plastic end is gonna break off. But we can repair that with rubber, so don't panic if it breaks on yours, I'll show you how to fix that. I'll try to get detailed video, so you can get the job done efficiently, and correctly, and the fastest way possible. So let's get this compressed in. I'm sure I do that. Okay. It. It's just the way it is. Just want to keep spinning. Okay. Now you see I got it setting on the pins, on them lips. Now you just need to turn it in slow. Okay, give me them pliers. Cause I know exactly what we're gonna do. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? That's the trick. Once you get it set in there a little bit, put them pliers on it. Okay, that's how you put it in, people. She in there. Use, use these tools. You see how I did it? Showed you exactly how to do it. So we're gonna follow that process because if this pop out, you will be hurt. So just take your time with it. Let's see, we come ahead to get this off. We're gonna go and cut this off. With my favorite. Okay, got it off. Let's get it back in the truck. Okay. You gotta snake it in like you did, you know, taking it off. Uh -huh. Snake it in. Snake it in. Make sure you put that bolt in, that third bolt in. Before you put this on, so it'll go right in. So, we're gonna go and get it set. That's all you gotta do. Go on now to screw it up. That's some and start a gasket. You need to screw it down and that's it. Okay, see? Gasket in. She sat back. We're gonna go and screw it down. That's all you gotta do. Okay, install one. Okay, that's that. Okay. So you see that hose there? This hose here. Good. We'll take our blade. We're gonna cut it off. Right here. So if you break that in now, uh, this is what you gotta do. So just follow me. You break that off. You take your blade. You gonna, we're going to cut it off here. We got enough to play with to snip it off. Okay, cut him off. You see the plastic broke off in there. Cut them off. Let's see if we got enough. We're gonna snake him on here. Get us a clamp. Snake him on. Okay. You see how I did it? Took the existing hose. Snaked it on. And clamped it. You ain't gotta spend no more money trying to make no holes work. So that's what you do. Okay, people, everything's back together. As you can see, it's all right. Now fill it up, get money. Okay, people, she running good. 
back together. It always get dark on me for some reason. But she good to go. Packing up the tools. She can head on home. Another job well done. So that's how you do that thermostat on these traverses. It's a pain, but I gave you the best video I could to get it out.